Hey there, it's Carrie Rhodes here. Welcome back to the Trinity Stamps YouTube channel. Today I am very excited to be part of the Trinity 12 Days of Christmas event. This is day 11, and I will be focusing on the Coffee Cozy Hand Stitching Die Set to make a felt coffee cup cozy. I am also using some amazing felt by Benzie Designs, who has collaborated with Trinity Stamps to bring you a collection of felt specifically designed for Trinity Stamps with these amazing colors. So I'm gonna flip through them so you can take a look and look, they even have Trinity Blue. Love it! All right, so this is kind of a rainbow of colors, perfect for making anything for any occasion. Now I love this so much and it comes with coordinating floss that I had to buy a second set. This is just an example of one of their other sets of felt. So you can buy these in sets that kind of are coordinated. This was a Christmas themed set and you can see it has different shades and tones of Christmas colors. And of course I did get the coordinating floss as well. So that is so fun to play with and I thought I would make a coffee cozy that could be gifted at Christmas but is not necessarily Christmas themed. So I am using my large die cutting machine to die cut these long pieces. If you don't have a large die cutting machine, you could always die cut this by running it through your die cutting machine two times. So part of it would hang out while you're die cutting the front half and then that part would hang out while you're die cutting the back half. So these scallops that go with the base of the Coffee Cozy, one is longer and one is shorter. The longer one goes on the top and the smaller on the bottom. You can see I've also die cut out some hearts, flowers, and leaves to create this cute little cozy. I'm taking this random piece, but it's not random. It die cuts on this little tab so that you can stitch the Coffee Cozy together in a circle. So there's all the pieces that I'm gonna be using today. I wanted to stitch stitch on those scallops first. So I'm going to use some pins to pin them together so that they, they kind of hold in place and don't wiggle around when I'm trying to do the stitching. So I just use four pins across the top and four across the bottom and that will hold it where I need to have it like that. All right, so I am going to bring in a needle that is with a larger eye so that this embroidery floss can fit through there. And I am using the coordinating floss for this particular felt to have that tone on tone matchy matchy look that I love. So I'll thread that through my needle and tie a knot in the end. I like to wrap the thread three times around my needle and then just pull that down to the bottom to create my knot like that. All right, so when we stitch this, we're gonna come up from behind and go down from the front. I'm gonna repeat that by going in the next hole. Move that needle out of the way. And then I will go back down the previous hole. So this is just a basic like running stitch there. And I will do this the entire length of both sides of this cozy. So I <laughs> pulled my thread out of my needle, so I had to re-thread it. I never thought I'd be threading a needle so many times on camera. Wow. So here I am finishing up the first side, and you can see how great that coordinating floss looks on this felt. I love it. Now when you die cut these, not all of the little holes are going to pop out. Um, if you have good lighting, you can see where those holes are even if the felt is stuck in them. All right, so there we have it. I'm going to repeat the same exact thing on the bottom side of this. I am going to do, go ahead and knot it and trim off any excess so that it just creates a more clean back to my piece. So tie that off with a little knot and do the same thing on the other side. Now that that's complete, I'm gonna bring in a teeny tiny baby needle and some red thread to stitch the flowers to my hearts. I'm going to use a seed bead and a sequin right in the center. So my needle comes up from the bottom with a knot in the thread and I'll catch that little sequin and then I will thread on a red seed bead pushing that down over the eye of the needle, and then going back down through the sequins, and I will go ahead and stitch a little stitch and create a knot to hold that in place. 
I'm going to repeat that with the other two hearts and then it is time to stitch on the leaves. So you can see I have six leaves there, so each heart will have two leaves. And these are really easy to stitch on. There's just five little stitches, so it goes pretty quick and easy, and I love the look of the tone-on-tone thread. It just really gives it that polished off look and also kind of a decorative element on these leaves, so I'm loving it. So finish that off by adding on the second leaf. And I will do the same exact thing on the other two hearts. Look how cute this is. Oh, so darling. All right, so once I finish up the other hearts, I'm gonna lay these onto my cozy, kind of where I want them to be when it's all said and done, and then I can figure out the spacing. But to hold these in place while I do my stitching, I'm gonna bring in my hot glue gun. I'm gonna put the hot glue just over the threads. You never wanna get the hot glue where your needle will be going through to do stitching, because it just won't. Or you could hurt yourself doing it, because it's really hard. So just be mindful of where you put the hot glue if you use this to help you out as well. I'm gonna use the same color thread as my hearts once again, and I will stitch all the way around that to permanently attach it to the cozy using the same stitch that I've used throughout this entire video. And I love how this is coming together with that blue background. I think it's really fun to have a Christmas gift that the person can use throughout the year, or you could make one that is more Christmassy themed, either way. All right, so while I am stitching, I want to tell you about the 12 Days of Christmas event at Trinity Stamps. So between now and the 14th, except Sundays, you will find a new video or new blog post about fun Christmas ideas. This is kind of a little thank you and celebration of the Trinity Stamps customers. So make sure that you watch all the videos and comment because you'll be entered to win a gift certificate to the Trinity Stamps store. They are giving away two $75 gift certificates and two $50 gift certificates. So wouldn't that be an amazing Christmas gift to yourself? I think so. So if you didn't catch the videos before this one, days one through 10, you can go back to the channel and check them out and leave comments there. The winners will be announced on the 15th and 20th of the month here on YouTube and on the blog, I believe. So make sure you stay tuned for that. I have all the details in the description box for you. All right, so all those hearts are stitched on and now it's time to bring the ends together and stitch it shut or you could hot glue it if you were all done stitching and just put that flap to the back, either way. So I will bring out the same thread I used for stitching on the scallops to finish this up and a little touch of hot glue to hold it in place, being careful not to get too close to the stitching holes. So we'll stitch that closed to finish off this little cozy. And then we're gonna take a look at what it looks like on a full size to go coffee cup. I just found them at the grocery store and picked them up so that I could put this on a cup and add a little gift inside like some K-cups or some hot cocoa packets, maybe some chocolate, maybe some cash. Cash fits in this cup. <laughs> so I'll tie a little knot to finish that off on the inside and that finishes up my little cozy. I felt like it was kind of small looking and was worried it wouldn't fit on here, but it fits on here great. I love it. It's snug and you can hold on to it really easily. So there we go. That finishes up today's project. I hope that you have enjoyed it and maybe are inspired to try out a project with felt. If you like this Benzie Design Felt, I have a link for their shop below as well as a discount code. And that is a limited time offer. So if you're interested, make sure you take advantage of that one right away and all the details for the giveaways are listed and linked for you below as well thank you so much for stopping by i hope that you have a happy holidays i'll see you again soon happy stamping bye